folks. Uh, this is my good friend Ricky Roscoe from West Virginia. He's been up with us all summer. And uh, this is August 7th through the 14th. We've had a beautiful summer. Uh, it's winding down, though. What I'd like to do this time is I'd like to show you how to properly fillet the northern. We've got great northern fishing here, and the big problem with northerns are the bones. So let's take this into the fish shack, and what we'll do is I'll show you how to get them bones out and keep the fillets in one nice big pike steak. You're going to love it. See you in the shack. Hey there, folks. Uh, here we are again with Ricky Roscoe, my good friend. And uh, we're in their fish shack, and what we're going to do is, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to show you how to properly fillet a norther. Now that's one of the biggest questions I ever get. And Ricky, you know the answer why, don't you? That's right, the why bone. I have a very difficult time getting it out, and Bert here is going to show me how to do it one more time. <laughs> one of the worst things, and uh, so many people, you know, the northers are a great fish to eat. They're a, a great fighting fish, great game fish. And uh, the problem is, is when you're eating them, if you got to dig them bones out of your teeth, it just takes the fun right out of it. So we're going to cure that right now. So what we're going to do is we have our northern here, and we're going to open them right up from the butt to the chin. Okay? Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fillet them. Now this is a very important part of the step because we're going to take them right behind the gill. Okay? And then, when you fillet them, we are going to cut through the Y bone and the ribs, okay? And we're going to keep our knife on the spine, very important, okay? And I'll show you why a little later here. All right, so we're going to strip that, that fillet right off, which is a real nice chunk of meat. We're going to turn them over, and we're going to do it again. And again. Keep your knife on the spine. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, that strips the meat right off, of which is there's no waste there. Okay. Now let me squirt this down. Now. Once we have the fillets, there's three steps to this process. One, we have our fin right here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take that off right away because it does nothing but get in the way, okay? That's gone. Now, we have two bones left on the fillet. We have our ribs, just like any old fish, right? And then we have our Y bones. And the Y bone, if we had just cut our fillet off of the backbone, all right, now we have our ribs, and our Y bone goes right in the back of the meat. And that's why it makes it so difficult and people struggle with getting that bone out of there. So, step number two is get the ribs out. All right, they're right on the surface, and you're going to run your knife right underneath those ribs. This is where a nice, nice sharp knife comes in handy. Okay, and they pop out right there. Okay, there's all of our ribs. Okay, again, no waste of meat. What a lot of fellas end up doing is they get into this belly meat, and that's a shame because it's great eating. Right okay? now, if you look closely. Let's go here. You can see the Y bones, okay, right along there. And they go in the back of the meat just like this, all right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut on top of the bone right next to them, okay? And we're not going to cut through the bones, just nice and gently and listen closely. Okay, we're right on top of the bone. Spread them open a little bit. Now. Get your knife in there and let your knife ride right on top of them bones. Okay? Just like that. Do a couple strokes with your knife there and you'll find that that meat, you'll stay right on top of the bone and there they all are. Okay? Now that we can see them, it makes it a lot easier. Now, 
here they are right here they go down and then over what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little cut behind that bone just enough so I can slip my knife underneath the bone and when you see your blade you know you're doing a great job and there they are there's the bones right there okay now if you peel them from the head to the tail then bones will follow each other right out of there and that's that's what's there's our there's our problem when we eat them okay there's the bones now that we have that done what you end up with is a very nice boneless northern I call it a steak okay now we're gonna skin them okay and this is where a nice long blade if you're gonna go fishing in northern country you need a long blade especially in good pipe country all right and what I do is I make a start it at the tail always skin from the tail to the head hold on to that hide and just seesaw that hide right off there and in Ontario you have to leave at least one square inch of hide attached to each fillet so what I do is I leave plenty of hide cut that off if the um, ministry stops you and checks your fish you have plenty of hide to identify the species and you have a nice piece to hold on to when you get home to cut it off so there we go that is a boneless northern steak and delicious eating and once you get onto this you'll never stop catching till next week folks thanks for coming bye bye